with games and codes, gitway.com is the place for you. Link is also in the description. What's going on everyone, my name is Ovi and welcome to a new FIFA 17 tutorial. In the next couple of minutes we're gonna talk about how to score goals directly from the kickoff. I am sure you have all observed the fact that after you score a goal or when you start the ball at the beginning of the game, the opponent or your defense is absolutely insanely bad. And that's exactly why it is so effective to score goals directly from the kickoff. Before getting into more details, make sure to drop a like if you are enjoying this tutorial series on the channel. 2000 likes at this video and finishing tutorial coming right up in the weekend. Let's take this example here. First of all, when you start the ball, the pass and run combination is your friend. You gotta do it because you want your strikers, both of them, the players that start the ball at the beginning of the game, to push in attack, to make a run in attack. So do a pass and run towards your third man in the back. After you've done that, you will want to do a driven pass towards one of the players that made the runs in attack. But it's not that easy because sometimes you do not have an angle to do the pass. If you don't have an angle to do a pass, just do a ball roll. A ball roll can be performed by flicking and holding the right analog to the left or to the right of the player. This will open the angle up and allow you to play a driven pass to one of your strikers. The whole trick about this kickoff technique is to get a pass to your strikers in the gap between the midfielders and the defenders. From here on in this first example, all I do is continue with a pass and run between the two strikers. I take advantage of the fact that the opponent is pressing me with his defenders and this pass and run technique just kills the defenders, you just lose them on the way and you get in a one-on-one -on -one situation with the goalkeeper from which is extremely easy to score. In this second example here, we've got the same thing all over again, a pass and run from our two strikers to our third man. But what differs here is the fact that the opponent is pressing me more with his player. I gotta get rid of him in order to do a driven pass to my players. So I use the face-up dribbling, which can be performed by pressing in the same time LT plus RT on your Xbox or L2 plus R2 on your PlayStation. By doing the face-up dribbling, I am able to dribble past the opponent that is pressing my player and from there on I can play a driven pass towards my teammate. After getting in that gap between the midfielders, and the defenders, it's all about imagination. As you've seen in the previous example, where I went with a simple technique, the pass and run. In this example here, you can just wait for your players to get into different positions. Use a lot the skill moves, the burba spin, the ball roll, the heel to heel flick in order to dribble past the defender and get into a one on one situation with the goalkeeper. This is an easy technique guys and it's been here also last year in FIFA 16. So let's do a quick recap. You start with the pass and run from your two strikers to your third man from there on. If you don't have pressure at your player, you do a driven pass to one of your strikers that made a run. If you've got pressure on your player, then use the ball roll or the face up dribbling to lose pressure there, to dribble past that opponent and after that do a driven pass to one of your strikers. When you've got the ball at your players in the gap between the defender line and the midfield line, you can even try a long shot, you can do a pass and run technique as you've seen in the first example or you can use skill moves in order to get past defenders and get in the one-on-one -on -one situation. If you don't know exactly what's the burba spin, the body feint, the heel to heel flick, I will leave a link in the description with all my skill moves tutorials so you get the chance to check them out again and improve your game. Make sure to drop a comment below and let me know if you've got any questions about this particular tutorial. I will try and answer as many of you. Also remember 2000 likes at this video and we're gonna have an upgraded and updated finishing tutorial for the weekend. Thank you all for watching, don't forget to subscribe for more FIFA 17 videos. Follow me on Twitter for the latest updates. My name is Ovi and I'll see you guys later. That's not a